Many Central Valley farmers learned the fate of their properties when California's High Speed Rail Authority released maps of its latest plan. Our investigative producer Heidi Kuda has this story. Heidi? The Rail Authority hoped to sell farmers whose properties affected on the updated plan, encouraging them to sell their land voluntarily instead of fighting each of them in court, but it didn't happen. Central Valley farmers packed this community center to learn the Rail Authority's plans for their future. This train is going right through our property and it's going to cut the well, the only source of water we have. This is bad for me, I don't want it. They say their biggest concern, the $68 billion project will destroy their properties but ultimately never get beyond the Central Valley. What's frightening is that we've spent over a billion dollars already on uh, high-speed rail and there's not a single mile of track laid. At a recent U.S. House hearing, Reps who opposed the rail plan made it clear there's no more money for it. U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood had an emotional response. We're not going to get it fully funded as long as there's language in bills that says it can't have any money. We asked Rail Authority CEO Jeff Morales about the lack of federal funding and he says he's not concerned. Our plan doesn't require new federal funds for, for two, two years at least and so uh, we'll be working off of the funds that we have now and moving the project forward. During that time we're going to continue to work with the administration and with Congress to, uh, to identify funds for going forward. But when we reminded him about the congressional opposition, he said... Two years is a very long time for things to happen. Farmers say they still don't buy the plan, despite the rail authority's effort. This was a, um, a, a setup for the high-speed rail to look good. They wouldn't allow anyone to ask them questions, so there was not an honest dialogue. I'm hoping a miracle happens and the train doesn't happen. The farmers say they've been mistreated on this project. And Ray LaHood agrees. As a former member of Congress, I was stunned at the way that they had been treated. And I don't blame them for being against this project. But we told them we, we, would, we would make it right for them. Now, these farmers tell us they plan to continue to fight the rail authority. They're hoping for that miracle. And if they win, those delays could kill this entire project. Carlos Laura.